What is going on guys? It's Real Touch GML here back with another game maker tutorial. And today I want to show you guys a little something that I have stumbled upon. Actually, I stumbled upon it a while ago and I did make a video on it in my particle series, but I wanted to make a standalone uh, video just in case anybody else didn't know of this. And this is basically Particle Designer. Now, I'm not sure if it was made in Game Maker, I don't think so, but basically what this program does is it allows you to create particles that you can then export the code and directly put it into your game. So if any of you, this is, the, I use this every single time I want to create a particle and I don't think there's any better way to do it. Uh, going through code and having to debug that whole process is very time consuming and all of that stuff. So this program here, you can literally see your particle that you're creating by simply changing a few values and you can actually see you know what the changes are and what it will exactly look like in the game so for example this particle this will directly translate what you're seeing on the screen now into game maker which is pretty awesome this program actually came out in 2007 which is quite a while ago but uh, some people still don't know about this program which I'm pretty amazed by so yeah I'm gonna put a link in the description it's by alert games and I'm just gonna kinda run through the program here just to kind of show you what 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 it can do so you know you can go to options here you can go full random and you can actually get like a cool little random particle effect that it just randomly gives out so we'll do it again do it again and check that out so it's really really cool now uh, so let me just go ahead and click new and this is the default particle uh, that comes out with but we can change this into a ton of things right so for example we can here's the uh, disk or the type which again you, you basically do all this through code it just made an awesome user interface for you that you can just like you know kind of click and change you don't even have to type anything besides like a couple numbers so we can change what this particle looks like right away just by setting it to say explosion well actually that doesn't change it a little bit let's try a uh, line Ah, uh, there we go. So now we have changed what the particle looks like just by changing this value right here. So if we do, let's say square, so now there's squares. And we can change the size from 0 0.1 to say 0 0.2. And this will give a random size range between those two numbers. Now we can increase it by like 0 0.01. And this will increase the size of the squares as it continues. Oh, yeah see that's why I put zero point let's try zero point zero five. Oh, that's still a lot zero point zero one Jesus that's a lot all right let's take away the increase but that's basically what that does um let's change that back to zero point one Now the wiggle, I'm not exactly sure what that does. I think it has some something to do with, oh, there we go. Something to do with like it changing the particle between these values every step. So you'll have to play with that. But now we got like a cool little sparkly little thing. I'm not quite sure <laughs> uh, how that goes. But anyway, so now we've got scale, which is just the scale of our particle. Uh, we can go to color we can add three different colors so say I want it to transition from like a red or let's say I want like a cool like blue particle effect so we'll go from like dark blue to mid blue to like light blue so now check that out that's a cool little particle effect we created in literally five seconds and then we can change the alpha so we can kind of make it look like it's gonna like disappear into the into the darkness, it'll fade off. Yeah, there we go. So now it's kind of like fading off. Wow, this is actually looking pretty cool. Uh, and now we can do like speed, so we can have like different speeds. So if we say like zero and five, now it's gonna come out a little bit more sporadically. If we increase the life of our particle to like 120, as you can see, now it kind of now you can kind of see the difference there. 
pretty cool. So what this min minimum value is and this maximum value, it's basically setting a random range. So when we hit this, it's either going to put a speed of the particle from one through five. So it'd be one, two, three, four, or five. And it's just gonna it's just gonna pick. So if we do one again, now they're all going at the same speed. And again, this life is gonna go through sixty through one hundred and twenty. So that's all the minimum value stuff does. So if we have like a speed of uh, one and then we increase it by like zero point zero one. Now they kind of like start off slow and then they speed up a little bit. Let's try 0 0.05. Very cool. So let's, let's just leave that at zero. And then our direction is basically the direction at which our particle emits from. So if we test stream here, it'll go from where this thing is. And so if we set our direction to minimum of say 180 and we change, now it's only going from a minimum value of 180 to 359, so that. But I, I, I do kind of like it 360 degrees around, so we're gonna change that. And then the wiggle, if we change the wiggle here to like 0 0.1, it should like change its orientation a little bit. I haven't played around with this too much. Let's see here. It is changing its orientation around a little bit. Kind of hard to see. Let's try 0 0.1. Hmm, interesting. And then we have gravity here. So if we put gravity to 0 0.1, you can see now there's gravity to the particles, which is really cool. But I don't like that too much either. <laughs> so. There we go. That is particle designer. We can we can do anything with it. I mean, you can even uh, import a sprite and use that sprite as. Uh, oh. Oops, we'll go back to shape. You can even use that sprite as uh, a particle. So this is what I use every single time I want to create a particle. So the way you export is you just go to export here, entire system. GML and then save it on the desktop. I'm just going to save it as a uh, test, right? And as you can see, we have test.gml up in the corner here. Just right click and edit it with like a notepad or notepad plus plus or something like that. And you get all the code right here. So this is basically the code you need. So I'm not going to go into game maker now, but basically in like the create event, that would be initializing it. You're going to need to create a particle system. So just say S name equals part system create pretty sure that's what it is and then to emit the particle and say like a step event or something like that all you're going to want to do is say part particle particle particles or particle uh, create and then it'll, sh it'll give you the parameters so you're going to need to put in like your system name your x y value the particle you want to emit into and then the amount of particles so Something like that. It might not be exactly like that, but uh, yeah. So leave a like, go and subscribe. I hope you guys have learned something, and be sure to download that. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.